for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video. And today, I'm going to be going over the new house rules today, as I do usually on Tuesdays. But this week, we have it twice this week. It's pretty cool, actually. I'm going over the rewards, my tips and tricks on how to, I think, to beat it the best way and what you could potentially see out of this. So this is pretty cool. It's kind of like back in March when I did the Gronk event where you got a free Gronk and then you had two house rules. So a lot can be had in these in this little literally these two days of just playing games. I'm not sure if it's eight or ten yet. I'll figure that out in a second. But when I do, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a little rundown of what I'm thinking. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to drop a like for me if you could. Let's try to get the like goal to 25 likes. Hopefully 50, but 25 will do. Also, if you're new, drop a sub. You won't regret it. Like I said, if you're done with Madden at this point, but you're just you're just chilling, drop a sub now. You won't regret it. Come Madden 20. Madden 20 is going to be a good time. Well, let's get into this video, guys. So first things first for the house rules, we got 10 total wins this week. So it's kind of a bummer coming off the eight wins, obviously, because like we kind of got adjusted to the eight wins to go back up kind of sucks. But again, it's not about the wins here. It's more so just trying to get through 10 games because obviously people are just quitting left and right on these. People don't really take these seriously. Now, the rewards are pretty awesome. If you do both days combined, you have to do both days to get the 99 overall. So there's the 94 overall plus fantasy pack today. There's going to be a 94 overall plus fantasy pack tomorrow. And then there's going to be a 99 overall player if you do both of them. So it's kind of like the Gronk if you remember that. So let's do a little math here. So you could get a, a potentially two 94 overall players, a 99 overall player. And then if you get all the wins, which would be about 20 wins. If you win them in a row, you could get upwards of 200k, let's say. Just about, just about 200k worth of coins about 80 trophies it all depends on how much you win in a row right if you just win one game so that's if you want to be competitive about it if you're not going to be competitive about it your coin total won't be as high but that's still not bad at all let's say you get let's say you get like let's do a median of you get like a 97 overall 96 overall at the well let's say at the worst at the worst you could probably get about no matter what 100k per pack just about and at the best you could literally get 300k pack so it's a fantasy pack, so there's multiple chances here. So there's a pretty good, there's pretty high odds you get some decent coin here. So the coins come out with the 99 overall is an awesome deal. Now the 99 overall, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Does it say here? I don't remember if it gave me, if it told me, but it did it when I joined in, but I don't remember what it was. But it's still 99 overall. Hopefully I can see it again and I can get, get, tell you guys exactly what it is. But the best part about this right here is just the potential for rewards, obviously. And it is two days, so you, you only have today to do it. And I think tomorrow, I don't, no, it's 48 hours. So actually, it's all the way till Thursday. So it's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Sorry for that misread. So you have four days to do it, which isn't bad at all. You're starting Monday and it goes all the way to Thursday. So this one's called half off. We cut the requirements of first downs in half. It's five yards for a first down. You only have two downs to get it. There's only three minute quarters this time around. So you have to make every play count. So. Cut the requirements to first downs and half. It's only five yards. That makes it easy, but you only have two downs. So it's kind of like regular football, but I actually prefer to have more downs than I do less yards. So you have five yards. So this is a week where the run game could easily be very dominant or people might be looking for that because it's the, probably the quickest way. Now, the only issue with the run game here, although many people are going to think to use it, is that when you only have two downs, if one of your plays gets stuffed, which is very likely in how Madden plays, if one play gets stuffed, you trip up at the line, you're pretty much on fourth down. So I'd probably go pass heavy here, although some people might not. Now you only have three minute quarters, so that, that is cool. I kind of do enjoy the three minute quarters because three minute quarters makes it a lot shorter than it typically would be. Now, the way I would play this, like I said, is I'd probably pass it, although it looks like a good running week. If you have a, if you have a dominant run game, a dominant run play, a nice scheme, by all means, just run the ball out and just do what you got to do. But I'd probably be looking to pass early and often. Probably looking downfield a lot. But I mean, people are probably be covering short routes, so I'd probably be looking downfield. Now, obviously, it all depends, right? If people are people starting a base defense, just do whatever you got to pick them apart. But if they're starting down, I, I don't imagine people are going to cover deep because they only got to cover because you can get so many easy first downs. But if they are, you just throw it under. But I think it'll be a week where you pass a little deeper. And if you have the right team for it, it could be easy. But with the way Madden plays now, with everyone having 99 speed, obviously things aren't as easy to predict as per usual. Computers are going to make plays. They're going to do what they do. So you can't just rely on how it should go. But if all is said and done, it is two attempts at a first down, first and five. It's 
seems easy enough to me. Now, the 10 games is a bummer, but like I said, as per every week, if you're, if you're new here, you don't know, but if you're not, you understand. The quit method, typically people here are not, this is not a competitive game mode. People are not here to win and show, their, show how good they are. That's more of a weekend league thing. And even then, people are kind of hopping off that. So for this week, if I were you guys, I'd hop into the game. If it looks like it's going to be a 7-7 nail-biter competitive game, I would quit personally. I'm not an advocate for quitting like I always say, but typically, if you're going to have to sit there through 10 games, full games, it's really not worth it. So I would just quit out of the game. Now, when you first start, obviously, with limited downs, it'd be very easy to make someone quit. All you got to do is score on them real fast, and then it's going to be two downs. If you can just stop them literally in two plays, not the easiest thing, but if you can, if you have a good, nice blitz, you get them. I recommend blitzing this week because if you get if you catch them trying to do one th you can mess up their whole game you blitz them you get them on a deep fourth down already on the second down they're screwed they, they have to either punt it or they're trying to turn it over and they'll probably quit so this could be a very easy week to force quits so this is the kind of week where i would just blitz and pass blitz and pass and it might it, these games should go quick with the uh, how easy it'll be to make people quit with only two downs me personally i mean if i go into a game and i'm down seven nothing and on my second possession i turn it over i'm probably quitting i'm not gonna waste time to get into another game this comes down to who pretty much gets the ball first and who, who who can take advantage of the scoring first. So, like, it's like a week when there's 18 points or rushing plays. If you can get that big rushing play right away, you go up 18 points, the other person's probably quitting. So, you just got to pretty much play the object, play the rules that it's giving you right off the bat, and you can probably make them quit. I, I, if I had to estimate, I'd say if you got these right and you do, you, you, you do the quit method, you don't really play the games, you're probably looking at about two and a half hours at least to finish these. So, altogether, you're probably looking at about five hours worth of gameplay, which isn't bad for about... I'd estimate at least 300 to 500k, at least I'd imagine, with the worst being lower. But I can't imagine you get the two. I don't think you're gonna get 294s. You could, many of you might, but with the highest also being upwards of like 700k if you get the right, like Kyler Murray's or something. I'm not entirely sure what the options are. I imagine it's anyone, and you also get the 99 overall player, which I don't know who it is. I don't think it's anyone specific. I think it was. I think there's options like you can get it random. I don't think it, it didn't tell me a specific name. I could be just bugging right now. Now to show you guys a little bit of what I'm talking about with the math, as far as what the rewards could be like, if you come over to the auction block and you look over here, come over to 9499s. Oh, that was really dumb of me to say, but 94. So the worst thing you can get right now would be a 50k Greg Little, Jordy Nelson, Aaron K Eric Hendricks, uh, Dalton Risner. Byron Murphy, Sammy Watkins, Jack Conklin, Drew Locke. So you get the point. 50K is what you're looking at. So at worst, you get 100K, which could suck. That would suck a lot. But it is a fantasy pack, so I'd imagine you have to get you have to get at least something. You can't, I mean, people will get straight 94s, but the vast majority of you won't. I'd imagine you're going to fall somewhere between this range. So I'd imagine that in my eyes, the worst you're going to get is about 70K per pack. Obviously, you can get less, but the worst you're going to get is about 150 over the two packs. That's the worst you're going to get, in my opinion. Now, so you can get anyone up over here. You can get a 97, that's 105. So my, my average will probably be about 150, 200K is what you're gonna make. Now look at the best pulls you can get. Go over to here, you can get 150K pull, which isn't amazing, but it's still good for free. Now you come down to the 99s, and this is where the real money starts. Like unless you get Brian Urlacher, 200K. But you can get the you can get the Dan Marino, who's only 210. Wow, things are down right now. I gotta do a market talk video. You can get the new, uh, the, not the new Elway, but the newer Elway. 240, the Bobby Bell 260. I know there's some higher ones too. Rod Woodson 330. You might be able to get a limited time card too. I'm not entirely sure, but that could be awesome. If you can get a limited time card, that could really be an awesome pull. You get the Telvin Smith, 400K, the Melvin Gordon, the Randy Moss, the Ronnie Lott. There's a lot of good cards to be had out of this. The Kyle, Kyle, Kyler Fuller. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking of Kyler Murray. You get the Kyle Fuller, awesome card too. 530K. There's an Aaron Rodgers. I don't know if you can get that out of there. I'd imagine that it's a set completion reward, so no, you cannot get that out of there. Scratch that. I wonder if the Chris Johnson is pulled. Is he also a set completion reward? No. Uh, I think he was. But you guys get the point. Disregard my uh, stupidity right now. The point is, you can get a lot of high price cards. Like, let's say you, if you get the right, if, if things fall right for you, you could easily get a Melvin Gordon. Let's say you get a Melvin Gordon and a Randy Moss. Or. I'm, I might be being really dumb right now. I don't think you can pull right uh, Melvin Gordon. Yeah. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm dumb. But you get the point. You get the point. If you got two Randy Moss, you could get about 800K. I'm going to cut it there. My brain is not functioning right now. I got to go eat some. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still around after all the stupidity, thank you so much. But you get the point. And hopefully you guys stick around. And if you don't, I understand. If you're just chilling and waiting for Madden 20 i completely get it but for all you new guys 
drop the sub down below drop a like and hopefully when madden 20 comes you guys can start reaping what i can what i can give you guys i'm gonna have a i cannot wait for madden 20 i'm gonna really go all in as a content creator so hopefully you guys just sub now get the ticket in now and then just chill until then we can keep grinding as much as i can during the season it's obviously very slow but we're making it work guys so thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video i'm out